Hey nerds, it's Pam coming to you from Stationery Nerd. I am back. I left the notebooks exactly like they were last night when I finished shooting the video. And I've been waiting for your response on what I should do. And it seems pretty clear that everybody has decided it's the, M the Midori MD and the blue cover. So this is what I'm going to go with for the year, or at least <laughs> for now, because um, this notebook will last me maybe two, two and a half months. And then we'll figure it out. However, you also said that you, that you want to see me cut this down, cut this um, B6 Stology down to slim, and you want to see what it's like to cut down a notebook and resew it. So. We're going to do that, but in another video, because right now I just need to get 2021 set up. So that's what we're going to do. So setting this aside, thank you very much for your help. You guys were very clear. Like everybody decided this was the way to go. I should have known. You guys always know best. Okay. So before I get into setting this up, I want to condition the leather here. So um, I'm going to do that first so that I can set that aside so it can dry. So uh, let's just make sure it's all cleaned out. And I just use this um, leather lotion, which I got from Wilson Leather when I bought a bag from them. And I just went to the cupboard and got an old washcloth that I didn't care about anymore. And yes, I'm going to take this out, set that aside, cat hair. Okay. So I am just going to put some, whoops, <laughs> I'm going to put some lotion on and rub it in here. So this just um, gives it a little bit of hydration that it needs as well as getting rid of some of the scuffs kind of giving it a brand new look I'm not worried about the dots of things that I put on there and yeah that looks like it's taken off a little bit of the color but that's okay um, because those will actually dry it'll be fine so plenty of lotion on here And pressing kind of hard, getting it into the grain there. And then I'm going to turn it over and do the flaps on the inside. So I do this with my notebooks maybe, I don't know, not as often as I should. I want to say it ends up being maybe once a year if I'm using it regularly or if it's sitting on a shelf and I decide to use it again, I'll usually do a, a coat of the lotion leather and um, rehydrate things. So, and it will soak up over the next 15, 20 minutes or so. And then we'll come back to it and take a look and see how it looks and if it needs another coat or if it's good. So, do you guys um, do this with your leather? Do you condition it at all? Do you do anything with the, like a lotion leather or some type of balm or something? Would love to know what you do to keep your notebooks in good condition. I mean, I am the type of person who loves scuffed up leather and I just throw stuff in the bottom of my bag. So I don't really care if it gets scuffed up, but I do want it to be soft and supple leather. So, all right, this is good. I'm going to set this aside, hopefully in a spot where the cats don't think that they can sit on it and we'll come back to this at the end. Okay. 
Wait, just gonna do this one little bit right there. Apparently I missed it. Okay. All right, so let's set up a notebook, shall we? Um, all right, so I, this is gonna be actually kind of humorous to me because right now, playing with me or set up, annual setup videos are a dime a dozen, right? You see them everywhere. And that's not how I roll. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna be surprised. No, you're not. You guys know me. You know, I'm lazy. I don't draw anything. And um, we just roll with it. Okay, so I did prepare some stuff. I'm gonna pull it up from the bottom down here. Okay, so I have some scrapbook paper. I already cut these out, but um, they I printed two. So what I have in my files is, here I'll show you, the accidental printing. So I accidentally printed it in black and white and had to print it again in color. So that's what it is. What I have is um, a file that is just on my computer based on the size of journal that I'm gonna use. And I reprint that file whenever I'm ready to set up a new notebook. That way, all the stuff is in there that I need um, without having to draw everything out and make everything all you know, like spend hours and hours drawing page after page after page. So instead, I print these on sticker paper. I usually back it with a bit of cardstock, and then I don't really set up a lot of pages. So let's just get into it. Um, I need to measure some stuff and start cutting. So I do have a ruler. So I am going to leave this page blank. Maybe I'll do something nice here. Leave that page blank. So this is what's gonna go here, okay? And they're almost the exact size of the page, but I wanna back it with this yellow cardstock. But I need to know the size. So almost four, or it, the page is four, so the, the sheet needs to be a little bit less. Um, and I'm going to go with six and um, three quarters. Okay. So six and three quarters. This is the Fiskars um, paper trimmer that of course, six and three quarters is right on. I'm just gonna actually mark it because I can't see the line on my thing. Um, this is the kind that's got that wire in it so that you can actually see um, where it's gonna cut. <laughs> six and three quarters. Okay. So this paper has um, speckles on it, so I can't actually see where my line is. Okay, I just asked the camera if I was still recording and I looked and I was not recording. So I have no idea if you saw any of the stuff that I just did before this very moment. So, uh, if not, I'll have to go back and refilm it, but basically, here we are setting up my journal and I have cut two pieces of cardstock that will be the backer for the info pages that I'm putting on these two sheets. So I'm just placing this here. Okay. And now I have these two things. I printed these on sticker paper. 
And this needs to be trimmed a little bit. It's not perfect. Where's my trimmer? Right here. I'm just going to trim that a little tiny bit right there. There's a little bit of white on the edge and that would bug me. So that's it. Okay. And now it's just Okay, so I'm back again, and I have changed to a different camera. Sorry, don't mean to point at you with my scissors. Uh, apparently, I um, wasn't paying attention, and the camera shut off again. I think that I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb, so when I got a notification, it turned the recording off. So anyway... <sighs> Where are we? I don't even know how much of that went, but it was only like a minute and a half. So here's where we are. I have finished these two pages. This is going to be blank for now. I'll probably put a quote on this page. And then here's these two pages. And then I want to do the year here and my word of the year here. Except I don't know my word of the year yet, so I'll do that later. And now I am just cutting this. I'm going to fussy cut around this um, this uh, leaf that tucks down into the border because I am trying to make a printable that was designed for B6 fit into a B6 slim. So. I am cutting this down dramatically. And if I didn't make it on camera to say this earlier before it shut off, these printables are available in the Etsy shop. So all of the calendars um, are available as well as um, some trackers and other miscellaneous stuff. So. All right, let's put this in. And then I still need to figure out my word of the year. I don't know what that's gonna be. So maybe I'll actually do that on camera too. Um, but once I figure it out, what I'll do is I'll actually take this design, this bird or whatever, this bird or flower, and design something here and put a thing there. <coughs> So, I feel like my trash can's a little bit too far away. Um, okay, so for now this is done. I think though, um, so this is going to be January. And January, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha, I am going to cut this exactly to size, and then I'm going to glue this in without a backer, okay? Pencil. So because this calendar was designed to be B6, and I printed it before I knew that I was going to be six slim, <laughs> I'm cutting it down to make it work. Okay. So here's my marks. And then for the rest of the months, I'll probably um, print the B6 Slim version. Actually, I don't know if I have a B6 Slim version in the shop. Hmm. I probably need to do that. Actually, I think I want to cut right to there. Where's my pencil? And then just below. Okay. So to here, because I want to keep that little greenery at the top, and then to here, throw all these scraps away. And again, I printed this on sticker paper, so it's easy to stick it in. Oh, you know what? I actually want to add a piece of washi, so hold on. 
let's see what I got over here. I pulled these because I think that it looks nice with the flowers. Or actually, I really like this. I'm gonna use this one right there. This is a washi tape from London Gifties. Big thank you to them for sending this to me. And yes, we will do a, um, a review, kind of a walkthrough of what I got. All right, I wanna put this down underneath the date sticker. The reason that I do this is because I like to be able to quickly flip to the month without having to have a marker there. And so this is an easy way to do that. And then that'll leave a nice decorative edge on this side as well. Okay, back to the sticker. I'm going to stick this in. Straight. That looks nice. Okay. So January, um, all right, so let's take a look at my old journals and I'll show you what I've us I usually do. So this is the um, Stology that I just finished and I'm just gonna flip to a month, here we go. So you can see I put washi tape on the side so I can quickly find it. I'll also add a little date um, post-it notes too. But this is usually how I've done it in the past. And I've done this for, I don't know, a year now, but I'm thinking of changing. So I would just write down the dates and then whatever important appointments or miscellaneous information, birthdays um, are happening on those days, I would just make a note. And then this was really just a, okay, let's glance at the month, see what's coming. And then I would never look at this again. It was really a way for me to like center myself or focus for a few minutes at the beginning of the month. And um, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's um, working anymore and I'm just doing it out of habit rather than um, anything that is beneficial. However, yesterday as I was going through this journal, I was reminded that in November I did this. So I did a calendar again, and I just wrote my goals for the month for Stationary Nerd. Didn't necessarily accomplish very many of them, but um, yeah, I like this idea. However, I also like the idea of being able to have those birthdays noted so I think I wanna do a, some type of combination of the two. And so we're gonna experiment together as I do this. And I'm sure that it will be something that evolves over time as I go through um, the year. So I am just using my Pilot High Tech C Miyaka, which is um, one of my favorite pens, which they do not make the body anymore. So if you have the body, um, don't throw them away when they run out of ink. Any of the Pilot High Tech C refills will work. So I'm just gonna do a title line here. And of course, I did not do a good job of drawing. I like these pens because it's a super thin line. And because um, it's uh, highlighter proof. So what if I do down at the bottom like a, a space for like a quote of the month or some type of saying or something? So I'll do that here. It's not equal. And then let's just kind of split the difference maybe somewhere around here. See, notice I am not measuring. I am not counting boxes. I'm just eyeballing it. I think that looks good. 
Um, and now I'm going to pull, I'm just going to pull this, I think there's ink in here. Let's find out. Jeez. Yep. Gray ink, in fact. So, what are we going to call that? Dates to remember. In a quote. Now, I don't know what I'm going to put there, though. Um, I do have this washi over here, though, I just noticed that I think I love. So let's use it. And we'll kind of use this as check boxes. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I like that it lines up with the boxes, so it is five millimeter. My fat fingers could get out of the way. All right, well, let's take a look and see what's on the calendar for this, for January. So the kitties have a birthday Oh look, National Sticker Day is on January twenty or on January thirteenth. Um, whose birthday is on the twenty fifth? Okay, so I am just going to write in here because I don't really have a lot going on in January. So I'm going to do the twentieth is Jack and Pounce is their birthday. And then the 18th, and yes, I know that I am out of order. It's MLK Day, and I will be off work. Um, that's it. I don't have any. I don't have any big stuff happening in January, which is fine. See, if I had done the calendar, I'd have like two things. So that feels better to me. And then I'll figure out what my goals for the month are and then maybe come up with a cool quote to put there. Okay, look at me. January is set up and I am ready for my first day of the month, which I am going to plan on that being tomorrow. So this is how I set up my day because I do one page per day. Uh, Sunday one three 2021 and I kind of like the way that these pages are laid out not necessarily the highlighting at the top but separating it out like that I don't know we'll see how it, how it goes I am NOT one to set things up ahead I literally um, oh look, washi stuff. I could be cutting washi with this. Um, and then this is just a little habit tracker thing. It's, it's kind of broke. Um, okay. You guys, I am set up for 2021. Gotta love it. That's it. Uh, should I put something here? Maybe I will. Okay. I'm actually, I think I will put a like a decorative piece of scrapbook paper there, maybe one in the back. Um, let me go to the craft room and see if I can find something that hits my fancy. I'll be back. Okay, I picked a couple of papers. I decided to go coordinating instead of matching. So um, I cut these down to size so that they would fit in the inside cover. So kind of like a 
end paper and I just fold it in in half and what I'm going to do is um, tape one side lay it down and then tape the other side because knowing myself I would screw it up if I did both at once so we're going to do it the safe way By the way, you guys, they do sell these um, tape guns now. Like they come in pretty pretty colors, like pink and um, whatnot. So they have. Oh, well, I guess I didn't really do that. It's very straight, but that's okay. Um, I guess they have figured out that um, it was being used by crafters. So now they sell them um, at craft stores. You can even get little ones, but. To be honest, the tape for this is so cheap that, um, and it lasts forever, that um, it just doesn't make sense to do those little craft tape runners at all. The only time that I use those is if I'm um, going to be like going on vacation and I need to take a tape runner with me or something like that. Um, so. How shall we do this? Okay. Yay, that looks pretty. And then that can kind of be a dashboard. I can put sticky notes and whatnot there. Okay, let's do the same thing on the back. So I'm just going to fold this in half. Oh, wait, I already folded it in half. And I'm going to do this side first. No, I'm going to do that side first. Just double-sided tape that works really well. All right, let's do this. And then tape it along the edge. Did not do that really well. Whenever I'm using a tape runner, I always feel like I have to conserve tape. But with this, I feel like it's so cheap that I can um, use a ton. Like, literally cheap. Like, these big rolls, um, I don't know, are about 3 or $4. Dollars. It's got hundreds of feet on it. Okay. Very good. Okay all set and ready to roll. Perfect. And I need a I need a post-it note. I'm going to steal the one from the old journal and put it on January the 3rd my little bookmark because I don't use a bookmark and you might be wondering why I don't add collections well I don't add collections at the beginning I um, add them as I go so when it gets to a point where I need to add a collection for something I will add it at that time not before okay this leather looks awesome Looks like a brand new notebook, doesn't it? Okay, let's put it together. And yeah, that that cover does stick out a little bit, but it will um, 
it'll be fine. I don't think I did that straight. Um, it'll actually break in a little bit as I use it more. Get in there. Okay, guys, good choice. This feels good, 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 good. And then I'm going to stick these two things in here. I know that in the past I've been using that little um, stencil to do my habit tracker on a daily basis, but I haven't been doing that lately, and I am okay with that. I'm just going to roll with it. Heh. <laughs> I love it. All set. 2020. Let's go. All right, what do you think? Okay, um, that's it for now. However, um, in a day or two, I will actually do another video, cutting this down, cutting this down, uh, re-sewing, and showing you how that goes. I don't know, maybe after I get done with this in a couple of months, this is where I go next, which is exactly what I did with uh, last year's journaling system. So anyway, that's all I got. Thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.